Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Fly RC. Today we're going to modify my friend Greg's Tyrannus with the Aurora 9 gimbals. I'll let you guys know how to do it. There was a lot of people that were interested in getting this done and I told you guys I'd make a video on how to do it, so we're going to do that today. So let's get started. We'll switch cameras so you guys can see better. Alright, so first step, if you want to be anal about things, you can pop the battery out and the SD card and all that, but I'm not going to waste my time. I'm not planning on shorting anything out, but it's a safer way to do things if you're worried about shorting something out. I don't plan on shorting anything, so we should be okay. It's just a pain in the butt to have to put back in later. So you take out the six screws on the back of the Tyrannus to start with. They're Phillips heads. I'll just keep everything in this tin so I don't lose anything. Alright, so the way you get this open, the easiest way is to flip it over, put your fingers on these and your thumbs on these and just push it apart like that. And then it'll open up. Just be careful of the ribbon cables so you don't damage them. And that way your buttons stay there and these buttons stay here. What we're going to end up doing is we're going to pull out these, we're going to pull the center piece out and pull the center piece out of this and, and switch them basically. So to do that, do one at a time. I'm going to take these four Allen screws out and get the gimbal out of the Tyrannus. One thing you might want to do before you start is take a picture of what it looks like beforehand because you might forget what goes where. That came in handy for me on mine when I did it. All right, so once you have that, you can slide this gimbal out. Just kind of finagle it around the wires and stuff. And I just unplugged mine from here. And I kept in mind which one of these goes where. The Basically, they're in, in, in order, left to right. So when you go back and put them back in, you'll know where they go. It just makes it easier to take it out of the Tyrannus completely so you can work on it. Now the first thing I did was I unscrewed these two Phillips heads and that got the adjuster out of the way. Yep. All right, now that this is out of the way, we can take out these two screws and you might want to move this back and forth to get access to those two screws as you're doing it. And these are slightly longer than the other two, so you'll know where they go back. All right, so now that should easily, like, it'll easily move the bearing, but we got to first take off this other side over here. And the first thing you want to do is release this with a pick tool or a flathead screwdriver. Um, there's there's four clips. There's one, two, three, and four. And all right, so if you just kind of get up underneath it, it'll help to release it. But once you get that piece out, this is the potentiometer for the Tyrannus. We're not going to need it, so it doesn't really matter, but you know, you might as well not damage it. So I popped it out of this. To, using these two tabs, I popped that out, and I'm going to use these two tabs right here to pop off that plastic plate that's in the way. Yeah. See it? Yeah. I'm going to use these two tabs right here to pop this plastic plate out of the way and then this guy comes off too. We're not going to need that, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so now you can, now that that stuff's all loose, you should be able to pull it up with this side first and then slide it out of the other side. Now I replaced the bearings with the Aurora 9 bearings because mine were all old and full of gunk, but these look like they're in pretty good condition. We'll probably switch them to the Aurora 9 bearings just because they're probably better bearings. Yeah. 
And you want to you're going to want to switch out this spring also. When we get the Aurora 9 get the Aurora 9 apart, we're going to take the spring from the Aurora 9 cuz this spring is terrible. But we're going to leave all this stuff and we're just going to basically now take the Aurora 9 stuff and put it where this one was. So now we got to do the same thing to the Aurora 9 gimbal that we just did to the Tyrannus one. So we'll take out these two screws first. And that just gets this out of the way. Take out these two screws. So we'll go ahead and pull off this plastic piece. We're not going to be using that. Alright, so we got to do the same thing over here that we did on the Tyrannus. If you pop out that little tab and get your screwdriver down in there, you can pop off the whole thing with the adapter and all. I think you have, you have to separate them anyway though when you go to put it in, so you might as well just separate the potentiometer now. Just get your pick tool in between and kind of push it in. Just be careful not to break it. Just push on the tab with your thumb as you're doing it. Get the potentiometer to let go from the little mounting bracket. We're going to have to reuse this mounting bracket with the Tyrannus. There we go. So keep in mind that we're going to keep this one so I'll put it in there. Alright. Now that that's out, we can pull this gimbal apart, just like we did with the Tyrannus. Pull up on that side and just kind of slide it out. Uh, the, uh, the bearing likes to stay in there, so you can just use your pick tool to push it out. Just go back and forth from left side to right side until it pops out. And these, can, these bearings are definitely better than the ones on the Tyrannus, so we're going to keep these. We'll just push them back into the Tyrannus in a minute here. So like I said a minute ago, we're going to have to use this spring, so just kind of pull up on it, take it out of its location, don't let it shoot across the room. There we go. Alright, so we want to take this spring and put it in the Tyrannus. So we're done with this, we can put this aside. And the screws and stuff that go with it, put those aside. The Tyrannus piece. Alright, so back to the Tyrannus gimbal, or the gimbal housing from the Tyrannus. We're going to take off that spring that I told you we're going to have to replace and put the Aurora 9 spring in because this spring's terrible. Alright, so just slide this guy up under. Hopefully, you can figure this part out. It was on the way it came off. There we go. Locked in place. Better spring. Alright, so now we're going to take the bearing, put it back in. This is the Aurora 9 bearing, we'll just slide it in there. It fits perfect. Slide in the Aurora 9 gimbal the same way we took it out. Slide it in this side first, right into the bearing. It's pretty cool that this can be done without cutting anything. <laughs> and then we'll just put the screws back in from the Tyrannus plate that we took out a minute ago. Again, get the screws tight. All right, then we got to reassemble our potentiometer for the Aurora 9. It helps if you remembered whether it was in the center, or at the bottom, or at the top when you took it apart. I don't remember, so I'm just going to go back and forth and put it in the center. And then when I put it in, I'm going to put it in the center, so that way it's centered. I'm going to go to put it in. First thing you have to do before you do that is to put this guy on. And then you have to actually slide the triangle, the pointy part, into the slot first, and then. I was just I just kind of slide it down like this and it lines up with the slots and it kind of clips in. Oops. There we go. Just kind of clips in. This is the Aurora 9 piece, not the Tyrannus one, but it fits right onto the Tyrannus like it belongs there. So this is centered, tensiometer centered and the stick is centered. And I'll go ahead and put this back on the same way it looks on the other gimbal. Should just snap right in there. Okay, so now you just have to figure out whether this is going to be your throttle stick or your aileron stick. Um, and then tighten your screws accordingly. We'll put these two screws back in. Now since this is going to be the throttle stick, uh, we're, I'm going to tighten this guy up 
not the not the notched one but the one on, to the right of it to make it have some force up against it so that's that part and all we have to do is modify the wiring to match the tyrannus to, to match up to the tyrannus wiring let's go ahead and put this guy back Likely to do this. I, I pull this over to the side over here because I don't like the way they kept it in the way of all the stuff. Kind of turn this so that it stays tight up against this edge over here. That way the wiring won't end up inside the gimbals. So now all we gotta do is just make sure that we take the color coding to match the Tyrannus gimbal wiring. And what I ended up doing, because it was easier for me, a lot of people actually took the wiring from here and soldered it directly to here, but the wiring's a little bit short, so what I did was I just snipped them and then attached them, snipped them here, and just attached them and used heat shrink. So what you just have to do is make sure that when you're doing this that the top wire matches up to the top wire on here. So we're going to use brown to green and orange to brown and red to orange on this one. So I only cut three at a time, that way I don't confuse, because these are all the same color, I don't want to confuse this one with that one, so I'm just going to cut three at a time over here, and then I'll cut three at a time over here, and that way I won't get confused. And I only need enough length over here in case I ever want to put these back in later. I don't need a whole lot. So I want to take as much I want to take as much length as I can here and here. So that way I can put it wherever I need it to be in case it needs to be longer. Alright, so that's one. I'm going to do the second one. Just keep them facing the same direction, you won't get confused. Alright, so now it's really simple. You put this back in your Tyrannus. This guy over here. Just finagle it back in there, make sure it's going the right direction. If you need to look at your original picture, that might help. Put your screws in from the front. And now plug your wires back in according to your picture that you took. For your really good memory. And I like to put a zip tie on these wires here just to keep it from looking messy. Now, if you repeat the process on the other side, you'll have new Tyrannus gimbals. We're going to put this back together and show you what to do next after you've done your second set of gim your second gimbal. Okay, slide the Tyrannus back together. All right. Now, after you have all of your gimbals installed and ready, you're going to have to calibrate the Tyrannus. So you're going to do that by turning on the Tyrannus. Throttle warning. And you're going to have to cancel the throttle warning because, Switch as you'll warning. see in a minute, Zero dB. if we go to menu, hold down menu, hold down page, you can see that if you look on here, the, the gimbal's not exactly centered, it doesn't 
give you full range. We're going to have to fix that. This one has full range, but you can see that it is going the right direction. So we did the right wiring. So as long as it's going the right direction, we're good. Uh, but we're going to have to calibrate this. So it says press enter to start, and it's going to ask you to center all the sticks. So you want to center these guys into their notches, center these guys into their notches, and center your sticks. And then press enter to calibrate and then press enter when the sticks are centered and now it says to move all the sticks and potentiometers to their extremes so we'll move both of these all the way up and down you don't want to push them really hard or you won't be able to get to the extremes um, and then move these all the way to their extremes and back to center and then you gotta move these to all four corners don't press too hard or you'll have errors. Okay, once you've done that, press enter. And now your stick goes back to center like it's supposed to be. It goes full extreme, all directions. And you're done. Well, thanks guys for watching Let's Play RC. Hopefully this video was helpful for you and sw swapping the Tyrannus gimbals. Um, we'll see you guys next time.